Hey guys, so today I have swatches of the Zoya Flare collection. This is the second half of the fall 2015 collection. This one consists of six shimmers. I do already have the Focus collection, which is the six creams, uploaded. It went up a couple days ago. This is a day late because my internet was out, unfortunately. I will link Zoya down below and I will get right into the swatches. So the first polish is Ember and this is a very, very bright red shimmer. So here's one coat. This one has a fantastic formula. It looks like it's nearly a one coater. I can still see some lightness, I guess, where my nail line is. So I'm going to do a second coat. Formula is incredible though, super smooth, super easy to apply. A little bit brush strokey, so you do want to do really straight strokes to avoid those weird curvy lines. I turned my brightness down a little bit on my camera because I think it was a little too high to really see the shimmer. But there is one coat, so here's two coats. This one does cover completely in two, and I feel like the color matches better what's in the bottle once you add a second coat. Like I said, it is a bit brush strokey, but it's so bright and so beautiful, I really don't think I care. You can also sponge the last coat on, and that will help eliminate the brush strokes. So there is one coat of Ember. The next polish is called Aggie, and this is almost like a orange to gold to green to blue multi-chrome polish. It doesn't have like a super strong multi-chrome shift, but it definitely has a shift. Um, and it's a little bit on the foil side for me. It's metallic, but it feels like it has a little bit too much sparkle to be like a straight up chrome metallic. So it's a really, really interesting polish. So here's one coat. So this one is a little bit sheer on the first coat. I can still see through it to my nail line, but it does cover better than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be really sheer. Great formula, smooth, easy to apply. A little bit brush strokey, but since this is a little more on the foil side rather than the shimmer side, it doesn't stand out as much as it did in the last one. So there is one coat. So here's two coats. This one covers completely in two. Like I said, the brush strokes aren't as noticeable, but they are still there, so you still want to be careful to do really straight strokes. So there is two coats of Aggie. The next polish is Giada, and this is a somehow dark but bright at the same time purple shimmer. So here's one coat. This one covers pretty well in the first coat. It's a little bit streaky. I can definitely see some light spots where the color doesn't cover evenly. Formula is fantastic though, super smooth, super easy to apply. I feel like I get a little bit too much on my brush though, so I'm having to kind of wipe some back into the bottle. So there is one coat, so here's two coats. This one covers completely in two, and it deepens the color just a tiny bit. Again, fantastic formula. It looks like it dries a little bit dull though, so you will want a top coat. So there is two coats of Giada. So the next polish is Triss, and this is a metallic gunmetal color, but it has a little bit of green to it, so it's like a little bit of a greeny gunmetal. So here's one coat. This one is a bit sheer on the first coat. This is kind of how I thought Aggie was going to look on the first coat. Formula is good though, smooth and easy to apply. So there's one coat. So here's two coats. This one actually builds up surprisingly well and covers completely in two coats. Just like the majority of the others though, it is brush strokey. So you do want to be careful to try to do really straight lines. So there is two coats of Triss. The next polish is Estelle and this, like Giada, is like a dark but bright blue metallic. So here's one coat. This covers really well on the first coat actually. I can still see just some uneven coloring where it's not completely opaque. Formula is good though. I do feel like I'm getting a little bit too much on the brush sometimes though. So there is one coat. So here's two coats. This one covers completely in two and it does deepen the color to match what's in the bottle. This one is a little brush strokey as well, so you will want to be careful to try to do straight lines or you can sponge on that last coat. So there is two coats of Estelle. And the last polish is Cinnamon and this is kind of a brownie red, bronzy, maybe metallic. So here's one coat. This one covers pretty well on the first coat. It, the color covers well, it's just a little bit uneven. Formula, like the other ones, is super smooth, super easy to apply. Formulas have been great across the board here. Don't very often get bad formulas from Zoya though. So there is one coat. So here's two coats. So this deepens and covers completely in two. Like the other ones, a little bit on the brush strokey side, so you will wanna try to brush straight. So there is two coats of cinnamon. I 
actually have three favorites this time, and those are Estelle, Giada, and Ember. I really, really like these. When I saw the press pictures, they didn't really look that impressive to me, but they really stood out and they were really bright and really beautiful on the nail. And um, I just, I really, really like them. The colors are super, super vibrant. So that is the Flare Collection from Zoya for 2015. Again, the Focus Collection, which consists of six creams, was uploaded a couple days ago. I will link Zoya down below where you guys can check these out because they are available right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later.